It is so rare for a spy to be named publicly, even more so for his work to be published. Christopher Steele is reported to have left his home yesterday, leaving his three cats with a neighbor, disappearing knowing he'd be identified. A former British intelligence officer in Moscow, Steele's believed to have developed a vast network of contacts there as a spy in the 90s. He parlayed his knowledge and skills into his own security and intelligence firm in London, Orbis Business Intelligence. There was no sign of him there today. In the light of everything that's happened over the last 24 hours, I don't think it would be appropriate for me to make any comments at the moment on, uh, on what's happened, whether Orbis has been involved or not. Um, and uh, we'll review that situation over the next couple of days. Reports say Steele prepared that 35-page document after he was hired by anti-Trump Republicans and later Democrats. And he was said to be so alarmed by what he discovered about Trump, he told the FBI. His unsubstantiated findings made their way to the Washington media. He has a good reputation, and I don't so know any, any reason to suppose that he wouldn't have written in a professional manner. Steele's reported to have built his reputation with the FBI by helping uncover corruption at soccer's governing body, FIFA. Now he's nowhere to be found. His case, a reminder for some just how dangerous gathering Russian intelligence can be. Take Alexander Litvinenko, the former Kremlin spy turned Putin critic, poisoned by Russian operatives in London, a move alleged to have been ordered by Putin himself. His widow sees similarities. When you just approach very specific information, particularly when this information very close to very powerful people, you might be in this line and you just easily might be killed. A British media report says at the time of Litvinenko's assassination, Steele quickly pointed to the Russians. So it's no surprise now he is taking precautions. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, London.